Hi everyone! So for today's video, I will show you the basic tools of Premiere Pro for beginners. If you want to start editing and you are using Premiere Pro software, so I will be showing you the basic editing tools that you need to know. So just keep on watching. <laughs> So I will just teach you the basic uh, tools if you are a beginner of Premiere Pro. This is just the basic tools that you need to know. So we open Premiere Pro and create new project and name it. I would name it tutorial for beginners and click OK. So if you already installed the Premiere Pro and uh, you don't know how to start, so I will show you how to start. This is the window, uh, empty window of Premiere Pro. So as you can see, here is where my project is located. And right here, down here is the effect controls. And this one is my timeline. So this one is where you can drag the media the video that you want to edit and this program here is where you can see the video so the first thing that we need to do is to import the media here so i will import the media here drag it here so right here we already have the media this is my edited uh, wedding of an uh, event organizer so this is his presentation of his organizing so we need to drag this video and put it here in our timeline so I will drag this here so right now you can see that we already drag the video so so the first thing that you need to know when you want to edit if you just started editing the first thing that you need to know is the tools so for beginners as what i've experienced when i'm a beginner i want to know where is the video and where is the music so this one here uh, i would make it private here down here this one here is the video the layer here the highlighted layer here is the video so for you to select just the video you need to make this one private you need to lock this one so that you can just uh, select the video so right here if I lock the layer here this one is the audio from the video if you want to just select the video just lock the audio here and select the video so you can uh, move the video wherever you want it to move and then if you want the audio to be removed so just select it just lock the video here and select this audio and move it here like here you want to move or you want to remove just highlight it here and delete it so that's it that was just for you to know where the video is located so this is the video the layer here is the video and then this one is the audio so if you want to know the shortcut keyboards of your premiere pro go to just go to edit and keyboard shortcuts so this shortcuts here you can edit it you can select what keyboard you want to edit or shortcut that you want to edit so this one this queue here is the ripple trim preview so this is the uh, previous video that you want to trim and then this one is the video the next video or the end part of the video that you want to trim this is the shortcuts you can see here the shortcuts this is where your keyboard shortcuts is located just go to edit and then keyboard shortcuts so you will know the shortcut keyboards of your premiere pro so we'll be back here in our window so what if I want to delete my video, just my video. So what you're going to do is to lock this one and then highlight this one and then click delete. And to undo the changes, you just have to click Ctrl and Z. So the video that you deleted will be back. 
And if you want to just delete the audio, just click this video here, the layer here, and highlight this audio, and then, and then click delete. If you want to undo the changes, just click Ctrl Z, and the audio will be back. So that's it. Uh, right here, if I want to cut this thing, so I will click the C. So, the shortcut key of trimming is C. You need to click the C. So, I will cut it here and, and then move it here. And then cut it again here. And then, if I want to delete just this area, I will need to click the V button on my keyboard. V and then it would bring me back to selection tool so the shortcut key of cutting is C and if you want to back to uh, selection tool just click the V if I just want to delete this area I would highlight it and then control X so as you can see I deleted that area and you can see the blank space here so the shortcut key of delete just click control then X for example, this area, I want to delete that. I will just highlight it and then Control X. So, it's deleted already. So, what if I want to slow-mo my video? For example, this area. If you forgot to lock this area, this audio, and you want just the video to slow-mo, just click the Alt and select the video. That's it. That's the shortcut that you need to know if you just want to select the video or the audio just click the alt and then select the video or the audio so i would select my video here as i want to show you how to speed this down so to slow mo this video just click ctrl and r so it's up to you if you want to speed this up so you fasten the speed or you want to decrease the speed so i will make it 50 percent so it would make my video slow mo so i would click ok so as you can see so the video is already in slow motion that is the slow motion so if you want to undo the changes just ctrl z and if you want to reverse the video you want this end here to start and you want this start to put in the end just what I've said click alt and select the video and then control R to uh, reverse so this is the reverse you can see the reverse here I would select that check that and then click OK so you will see it reversed already I will undo the changes so it will be back to where the video really starts for example you want the video to slowly fade out to black just click the alt and then arrow up to make the video uh, be seen here this is the keyframe here you can see the keyframe here so just click the keyframe here from here if you if I want to fade slowly so we will click it here and then from here I will also click the keyframe here so this is the beginning of the keyframe and this is the end of the keyframe so what I would do is this end keyframe here I would drag it down so as you can see when I play it here when I play it here It slowly fades to black right there so that's it same as the music if you want the music to slowly fades out just choose this here and then alt just click the alt and then uh, arrow up and then select the audio here and you can see the keyframe here so if I play the audio, if I start the keyframe here, I would select it here and then I would end it here. Select the keyframe again. And from here, from the end of our keyframes, we will just drag this down so the audio will slowly fade. 
So let's play it. So that's it. So that's how you fade the audio in a slow way. If you want to undo that, just click Ctrl Z. So that's how you add keyframes to the audio and the video. So another thing that you need to know if... So what if I want to speed the video? So I would select Alt, select the video here, the layer here, and Ctrl R. And I would speed this to 500 and then click OK. And then mute the music and then play it. So you will see it, it really is faster than the speed of the video. So right there. So that's just it. So if you also want to add a music, for example, I want to add a music. I would delete my music here. And I would search my audio and I would select the audio that I want to import. All you need to do if you want to add a music is to just drag the music that you want to put and then put it here in the audio below. It's there already. So you can play it. So it's up to you if you want to add anything or any audio. So this is the location of the audio from A1 to A3. And this is the location of the video from B1 to V3. You can still add a lot of videos and you can also add a lot of music or audio. So what if I want to add a text? So to add a text for you to know how to add text. So what you're going to do is control T. And then So this is the text. So what you're going to do is to drag it and position where you want the text to put. So what you're going to do is to select this type tool here. Select that and type the text that you want to put. So if I want wedding and then highlight it all. If I want to change the text or the font, I just highlight the text and go to my effects control here and search for the source text, this one. So there's a lot of text here if you want to change the font. Just select what font that you want to select. So there's a lot of fonts on Premiere Pro. So you can also download the fonts that you want to add to your Premiere Pro. And it will automatically download to your Premiere Pro. So there, you can see I have a lot of fonts here. That's, so that's how you add a text. Control T is the shortcut key for text. So, so that's it. That is the basic tools that you need to know to Premiere Pro. If you are new to Premiere Pro. So that's it for today. And I hope that you learned something from me. Just the basic tools that you need to know. And in my next video... I will show you other tutorials of Premiere Pro. It's the friendliest and the easiest way for me to edit videos. So, I hope that you can find the software and try to search it. There's a lot of free software of Premiere Pro that's on Google. So, try to search it. And I hope you can start your editing on Premiere Pro. So that's it for today's video. I hope you learned from my tutorial and for my next video I will do the tutorial of how to put effects on your videos and some other use of Premiere Pro. I hope to see you again in my next videos. Thank you so much everyone and that's all for today.